Uh, my name is Khalif Whalen Walter. I'm from Chicago, and you're listening to BluesRadio.com. This is Khalif Whelan Walter. I'm from the home of the blues, Chicago. And I play my own brand of funky boogie blues. Yeah, she put the voodoo on me. Put the voodoo on In the city, when, when I'm actually playing in the city, I think you have to remember um, that there is a commercial element of the blues. And people come from all over the world to hear what they think is the blues in Chicago. And so, yeah, when you're in Chicago, maybe you, you throw in, you know, Mustang Sally or Sweet Home Chicago because that's what the people come to hear. But um, there's also, there's YouTube out there now and people can hear that there is something else out there besides just the Muddy Waters. There's also, there's a whole younger generation that didn't grow up listening to Muddy Waters. And so when I throw in a little bit of Prince in my music, that's something that the younger people can relate to. Or, or they hear a Michael Jackson reference or something, um, Bruno Mars or something. They hear that reference in my music and it's something that they can relate to and it brings younger people into the audience. So um, it, it serves a dual purpose. First of all, as an artist, I want to be myself. Second of all, we want this music to be around 30 years from now. So we got to bring some new people into it. You, you have to find your own voice in the music or it, it just it doesn't need to exist otherwise my, my study in university was african-american history and so I do I use my education and I use my musical platform to address what I believe are a lot of the issues in the African-American community. Um, I don't know that I use my music so much for that. Um, I think a good song should tell the story. So if it's relevant in that story, then yeah, I, I'll tell that. But as far as what I see, it, it's my responsibility. I have a very good education. Um, th thank goodness my parents were able to get me a very good education and I, am very happy and feel obligated to um, return what I have to the African-American community. And part of that is I've, um, I do lectures on African-American history and the history of African-American music, blues music. Mm -hmm. And I think it's very important to educate um, the younger people about the history of African-Americans, the history of this music where it fits into our society. And I also, I like to tie that into what um, a lot of the younger kids listen to hip hop. To me, hip hop is, it's blues for the year 2000. I mean, that's what it is. It's, it's young disenfranchised people expressing their um, disappointment with a system that has not included them traditionally. And that's what blues music was. And um, that's what it is. Hip hop to me is, it's the news, it's our history. Um, all of that incorporated um, into music. And so I see um, my discussions about that as a way to bridge the music with our history. So that's how I engage that personally. I don't know so much that I address um, social issues in my music, but I do use my music as a platform to address social issues. play um, the guys on in my band I'm very fortunate to have great guys they bring it they really bring my music to life and when I get up on stage let's go on a journey we're going to go on a little bit of a journey through the music and everybody is welcome to come along black white um, straight gay Jewish Christian 
non-believer, whatever, you know, um, German, Holland, whatever, whatever, you're all welcome. Man, woman, everybody, you're all welcome to come on the journey. And one of the cool things I always say, um, um, music is my religion. Um, I'm only the messenger and the groove, the groove is God. And, you know, one of the cool things about being on stage is when I'm on stage, we're not fighting about, you know, what from one country, you know, what line is this line or politics or something like that. We're all digging the music and hopefully people can take that couple of minutes and take that back into real life and realize, you know, we have more in common than we have that separates us. So. You know, come on the journey. <laughs> yeah, they're chasing it down, brothers. They're trying to uh, get you some too. Big booty. Big booty woman. Big booty woman. It's a very diverse CD. You hear it? You'll hear rock blues. You'll hear funky blues. You'll hear some soul. Um. Yeah, some funk. Um, it's a little bit of everything. It doesn't fit neatly into any one box. And so for the record companies, a lot of them passing on it was like, oh, we want 12 blues rock songs or we want one album of nothing but soul. And that's not me. That's only one part of me. This album is me. So I'm very happy to have it done the way I got it done. I worry about my job. I wonder how I'm gonna pay the rent. I never worry about my money because it's already spent. Um, I'll say it again. M music is my religion. I'm only the messenger and the groove. The groove is God. <laughs> I never worry about my wife She's already long gone uh, My name is Khalif Whalen Walter I'm from Chicago and you're listening to BluesRadio.com See